We're in Whistler for the sixth round of the Enduro World Series here in 2016, and behind me you can see the lovely big blown up Trail Fox map. We have one day of racing and five stages, so it's going to be an intense one as ever. Down here is the Whistler Village, and this is where you see all the mischief in the bike park going on. Stage one starts right down in the village, and you get the village gondola nearly to the top of the mountain here, and then it's going to be coming down through a whole host of the bike park trails. We got our friend Iago Gary to have a ride down it, and the trails it's taking in are Una Moss to Blue Velvet to Black Velvet to Fatro Bat to Expressway to Two Tight to Angry Pirate to Samurai Pizza Cat to Afternoon Delight to Detroit Rock City and ends at the clearing before Heart of Darkness. So you can see a huge amount of trails on that one. After the first stage, the riders will be having to get their pedaling power on as they go up through Blackcomb and they'll be riding Crazy Train, which is stage two. I had a ride of this amazing track, loads of natural roots and rocks there, so really keeping the riders on the ball. So this is the start of stage two here. We've got Haybud over there, but this is Crazy Train. No idea where this goes, never ridden it before, but let's have a look. Already you can see, real rooty. A little bit damp, there was some rain the other day. Oh, don't know where this is going. But uh, there we go. Bumps over the roots and got to keep your momentum going. Stumps everywhere as well. Lots of that going on. It's gonna be hard to remember all these little bits. Whoa. With stage two finishing here, the riders will then be skirting around the village and going down to Creekside. The first time they'll be passing through there and they can get some tech assistance, but they're only allowed one shot at that, so they'll have to play it clever with that one. And then we've got the Creekside lift that they'll take up and they traverse around and then they hit heavy flow and tunnel vision for stage three, which once again, Iago had a ride down. Once again, the riders will be passing through Creekside and that tech area, and then they've got the longest liaison. They'll be going up through Stonebridge, and I hear the houses are pretty fancy around that area. Right the way up to Pigs on the Wing and Short Bus, which will be stage four down there. Once again, Iago riding down that one for us with some of his Santa Cruz team. After four, they're back up the valley, once again to Creekside, where they'll get the first of three lifts to get them to the very top of the mountain. So they'll be coming up Creekside, then traversing across the gondola, then getting that to the top, then top of the world chair. Amazing views from there up at the top of the world, and then it's a fast, flat out bit of track that I had to ride on, and it continues all the way down through the bike park, ending up in the heart of Whistler Village, where we see so many of these amazing races finish. Just about to arrive at top of the world, and you can kind of see why it's so named. Look at that. So already you can see the kind of terrain we've got on offer here. Real rocky and fast, straight off the bat. Rough and nice. You can pick some lines on the smoother stuff. the end of a mega hard day of riding that's where it'll all be happening at the end of the day and we'll bound to see a massive party start after that 